reviewing the Digitech AR1780 portable receiver. This is a small set that covers portions of the LF, MF, HF and even VHF spectrum. It's got several novel features. First of all, it receives SSB, something that's not all that common on a small and cheap receiver. Secondly, it also receives VHF airband, which we'll have a listen to in a moment. Thirdly, there's variable selectivity. Again, we'll test later on. The receiver has a keypad, a comprehensive digital display, tuning control, fine tuning control, power socket, volume control, and sockets for external earphone and antenna. The manual is not quite the Queen's English, but most of the time I found it easy to follow. The main disappointment with the instruction manual is it doesn't adequately explain how you use the memories. Yep, there's an explanation for the first 10 memories, but not for the others. Memories are on pages. The page button down here at the bottom right is what allows you to flip between pages. There seem to be 50 pages with 10 memories each. A shortcoming, if you want to listen to some frequencies, is internally generated birdies. This one on 7020 is very loud. Just testing the bandwidth of the filter in the AR1780 receiver. It's set to SSB. This is 1 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz, 5 kilohertz. The receiver is set at 4 kilohertz. And as you can see, there's a significant drop off. This is 3, 2.2. .2. One five hundred hertz. An interesting thing is that I think they've got the filtering the wrong way around in the receiver between one point two and one kilohertz. Because if you compare, this is one point two. There's a peak at one, and this is one actually much more just above one. One thing about this receiver is the frequency coverage is greater than that indicated on the rear panel. For instance, long wave is said to be 153 to 279 kilohertz, yet it goes up to 450 and I was hearing signals as high as 398. Similarly, short wave 2300 to 26 100 kilohertz is actually longer at both ends of that range. I was able to get good reception on both 160 meters at 1.8 megahertz and 27 megahertz CB radio. Very likely it would also be receiving on 28 megahertz, though there are no 10 meter signals for me to test it. This is the effect of the fine tuning control used on SSB, but it also works on AM. SSB is very easy to tune in. One thing you should be aware of when tuning the receiver is the receiver mutes briefly between each frequency. That effect is quite severe on some frequencies and not at all on others. The main thing about this is that if you're using the receiver to casually tune around, it can be a little bit frustrating sometimes. It can take quite a long time 
to tune from one end of a band to another. The AR1780 has no RF gain control, but it does seem to have AGC. In fact, if anything, the AGC curve is too flat. The thing about this receiver is the unusual S meter. On the left is a signal strength measured in dBU. On the right is signal to noise ratio. On the medium wave broadcast band, the maximum signal to noise ratio seems to be fixed at 25 dB even for stations of varying strength. Whereas if you were to go to FM, the range is much more. Millie and Hayden had the best time out there. <laughs> um, so, Let's see, you need somebody who will help you. It helps if you clip a few metres of wire flown over a bush to the receiver's telescopic antenna. A novel feature of this receiver is VHF airband reception. Let's have a listen. If you want a portable receiver for holidays or just listening in bed, then the AR1780 could be right for you. It's not what I'd call high performance, but it does surprisingly well off its telescopic whip. 